a new learning opportunity. Before we start, kindly get your learning materials so that you can follow through in our discussion. Also, you have your ball pen and paper available so that you can jot down important notes. If you don't want to jot down, you can just have screenshots or have a replay of this video if there are concepts not clear to you. Alright class, I hope you are ready, so let's get started! How do you feel that you can be a skilled carpenter? Do you have tools and materials in carpentry available in your home? In this lesson, you will know how to describe the different materials and tools used in carpentry. These are the basic construction tools and materials that a carpenter needs to build the house or furniture that makes your family safe and comfortable. Allow me to read first the content and the performance standards of this lesson. Content standard. The learner demonstrates an understanding of the underlying principles in the preparation of carpentry tools and construction materials. Performance standard. The learner independently prepares carpentry tools and construction materials based on industry standards. Let us be guided with the learning outcome of this lesson. Learning outcome number one, identify materials and tools for a task. 1.1, describe tools and materials used in carpentry. 1.2, prepare tools and materials for a task. There are four words in this lesson that you need to understand. So let us have the unlocking of difficult words. Let us have this in this very short activity. Directions. Tell which word is defined in the statement that will be flashed. You can choose from the words below. These words are material, aggregate, grain, and tool. So let's get started! Number one, a material or structure formed from a loosely compacted mass of particles. What is the word? Number two, the lines that naturally appear in lumber. What is the word? Number three, a stock upon which a thing is made. What is the word? And the last, number four, a simple implement as a hammer, saw, and spade, chisel, etc. used in work. What is this word? I hope those four words are already clear to you. So let us continue. In this lesson, you are now ready to describe materials and tools according to their job description. Also, you will describe the materials and tools according to their description per job requirement in carpentry. Let us now have the materials used in carpentry. Lumber, sawn timber. Plywood, 
thin cross laminated sheets of wood. Nails made of metal used for fastening woods. Screw, a thread running around it, and a slotted head used to join things together. GI wire or galvanized iron wire is a zinc-coated steel wire used for application that demand longevity. GI wire can be used in a longer period of time because it is coated with a protective layer of zinc that prevents it from rusting. GI steel Galvanized iron steel Regular sheets that have been coated in zinc Steel reinforcement. Bars or rebars are used to improve the tensile strength of the concrete. Next is cement, a powdered substance which, when mixed with water, acts as a binder of aggregate. Also an aggregate is sand, a fine, greedy substance found in shore and desert. And a coarse aggregate, gravel. Let us have a short test of your understanding. What material used in carpentry are in the pictures? Next, let us have now the tools used in carpentry. The first one is a claw hammer. Claw hammer is used for driving and pulling out nails. Next is screwdrivers. This is used to drive screws. Electric drill with drill beads used for drilling and boring. Sledgehammer used in destruction work for breaking through drywall or masonry walls. Crowbar used to open nailed wooden crate. Cross cut saw, tool used for cutting across the grain.
Rip saw, used for cutting along the grain. Half saw, fine two-thirds saw used to cut metal and pipes. Bench vise, used for holding metal while cutting. C clamp. Used to hold pieces of wood together. Chisels. Used for cutting and curving wood. Planes. Used for smoothing woods. Oilstone, used for sharpening edge cutting tools. Pull push rule, used for measuring long distances. Plumb bob, used for vertical alignment. Try square, used to test the squareness of a stock. Level bar, tool used in checking vertical and horizontal position. And the last, level hose. This is used for tracing level. This is our second test. What tools used in carpentry are in the pictures? Can you recognize them? Next, what carpentry material or tool is described by its use or function? Number one, used for sharpening edge cutting tools. Number two, used to drive screws. Number three, used for drilling or boring. Number four, used to test the squareness of a stock. And the last, number five, Used to open nailed wooden crate. And the last for our reflection. 
collection, this time you're going to make a graphic organizer of your understanding. On top, you're going to write our topic, and that is carpentry materials and tools. In the first box, on the left side, you're going to write something about the carpentry materials. On the right side, you are going to write something you have learned about the carpentry tools. And below, you are going to write the importance why you need to know the different carpentry materials and tools. That's all for now. Thank you very much. Goodbye, guys. See you later.